due to the COVID-19 pandemic and worsening China-U.S. relations, a chill loomed over people-to-people -people exchanges in the past few years. When travel went down, estrangement and misunderstanding went up. But the more difficulties there are, the greater the need for us to forge a closer bond between our peoples, encourage more to speak up for the relationship, plant more flowers rather than thorns, and build more roads rather than barriers. China is now actively implementing President Xi's initiative to invite 50,000 young Americans to China on exchange and study programs in the next five years. We have also rolled out policies to facilitate travels between our two countries. For instance, we now provide walk-in visa application services and have significantly optimized the visa policy for travelers from within the United States. Tourist visa applicants within the United States will no longer be required to submit round-trip air ticket booking record, proof of hotel reservation, itinerary or invitation letter. I would encourage all of you to visit our country and see it for yourselves. At the reception commemorating the 45th anniversary of China-U.S. diplomatic relations, co-hosted by the Chinese People's Association for Friendship with Foreign Countries and the Chinese People's Institute of Foreign Affairs on January the 5th in Beijing, I had the pleasure to meet a group of American students from Columbia University and University of Virginia. They shared with me excitedly what they had seen and heard in China, expressed their admiration for China's time-honored history and splendid culture, marveled at the warm hospitality of the Chinese people, and ranked China as one of the most open and safest country in the world. We hope the U.S. side will work with China in the same direction take measures to clear obstacles in travel, visa, and border entry policies, further increase direct flights significantly, adjust the China travel advisory as soon as possible, encourage and support business, educational, cultural, sports, youth, subnational and media exchanges, and especially stop interrogating, harassing, and repatriating Chinese students. We count on friends at the Charter Center, the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations, the U.S.-China Business Council, and Center for American Studies at Fudan University to continue playing a constructive role in boosting mutual understanding and cooperation between our two peoples.